Hello guys, there's here and welcome back to the Minecraft modeling tutorial using Cubic Studio. Today I'm going to go over some advanced uses and techniques that you might use while texturing and UV mapping your model. So I've still got this simple house and I just noticed that this is a little bit off center. Nevertheless, let's continue this really quick. So uh, we go to the elements and then back to the faces and elements. Let's actually select an element here. Uh, face and UV mapping, I meant to say, sorry. And we are going to cover everything that is on these two tabs. Because some of these things actually took me a really long time to figure out. So I'm going to take that knowledge and give it to you, basically. Um, starting here with the tint index. So basically, when you, once you have an element here. So uh, I'm, I'm selecting this little uh, square here that is the base of our house. Um, I can give it a tint index and that is currently minus one, which literally means nothing. Once I t uh, put this to zero, um, it's actually a bit, let's not do this one. <laughs> let's actually do another one. There you go. Let's do uh, like the south one. Let's give that a tint index of zero and you'll see that it turns a little bit greenish. If you actually make this a uh, white gray texture, it will have the perfect color of grass. So it will copy the biome color. Though it doesn't. It doesn't copy the biome color. If you export this to Minecraft, it doesn't really copy that biome color at all. It just stays white, which is rather strange. So if you put this to one, it gets uh, pink and... Uh, oh, that's not what I meant to do. And if you change this uh, to all kinds of numbers, it changes up. And I don't really know what the purpose of it is ra uh, other than uh, making you aware which side you're actually talking about. If you, for example, say, oh, let's uh, give every uh, south side a green tint or something. I don't know if that is actually really useful or not. But that's the only feature that is currently known to uh, to work with this. Uh, once you go high, uh, 6 or higher, it all is the same color. If you go lower than minus 1, same thing happens so that's what the tint feature does not that useful uh, but it works anyway uh, but if you click on this little blue square here you might not think it does anything but as you see it deletes or deletes it makes transparent the side that you're currently uh, working on so you can't see it but the square is still there if I select this you'll see that it's still there and if I go over here and I scroll and you can see that it's transparent and everything that is uh, normally visible through this is now transparent as well. So when I pan in like this, you can see this side again. So a um, little little thing that you might do. And this actually does copy over into Minecraft. So if you want to make one side always transparent, uh, this is how you do it. Uh, very cool. And uh, just one last thing to note, it does show other elements. So um, if I go up here, this side isn't shown, the top side. Sorry for this awkward view. Uh, but the other elements here are still shown. But you probably noticed that yourself as well. And then the last thing that is on here is the culling, rather than, of course, we have covered this one. This just determines the texture. Um, the culling is actually really interesting and really advanced as well. Uh, basically, what it does is based on if you place a block on one of these sides. So let's say I put a block on up. Um, so I set culling to up. And if I now, uh, in Minecraft, place a block onto the upside of this model, if it is actually a block, it will make the south side transparent. So we will do this with the south side, basically. Um, and you can select one for every single one here. Um, it turns, I think you can make some pretty interesting, crazy maps with this, but uh, other than that, I don't really see the use of that any, uh, anyway. So basically all those features here uh, mostly don't have a really good purpose, but they're there anyways. Uh, going over to the UV mapping, we've covered a few of them last time. Uh, as um, let's let's basically go over to the down. Uh, no, let's go to the south side because that's this side here. Um, I can do full, and basically that um, makes the UV mapping for the tech either the selected or the all uh, textures here makes it full. So if I just cram some down here, and if I do full and I do all, then you'll see that they all reset to full size very very well uh, you can also do this with uh, these things here and these these are a little bit special and I think a little bit different from the other ones as well so you can do current south um, but then we'll only do one side all for demonstration purposes I'll do all and then you see something really strange um, really really strange indeed you can see that um, I selected the west side so the west and east side are fully selected here and you can see that here as well though one of these is flipped I'm not sure actually which but one of them is flipped uh, as you can see here I'm, I'm trying to zoom in and then what's happening here is they it's it basically cubic tries to make the texture 
uh, or transform the texture basically so it is sort of a um, how would you call that it's sort of connected like this pixel here it's the same pixel all the way through this line here and then it connects over to the same pixel on the other side um, and it does that for the back as well and what it does for the top is um, it takes uh, again that same pixel that is here on the top and it stretches it all the way over there but since that this is uh, one black line it is yeah one um, it's all black it's a little bit brownish it will be a, a brown face and that's basically what it does and you can do that for every single uh, one of these and if you um, select it like one of these faces it will only would it do the same thing but just for that single face if that makes any sense i hope i still got you that was a big big story a big mouthful uh, so let's quickly set this all back to uh, full and up and that will uh, also make the texture uh, in the correct facing the correct direction again uh, which is really really nice uh, then we are you have these these real radio button things and the, those are actually rather interesting and you will use those more often than not um, so let's try to explain these with uh, the down and the up here um, this one is switching uh, the texture of the down and the up so to make that clear uh, you can basically select let's say you had the up a little bit smaller than the down one the down is full and this one is a little bit halfish if I click this this one is now full and that halfish thing is now on the downside and I can switch those around anytime I want I can make this a little bit bigger then it gets full and then you can see that it basically swaps them around um, like so so it only does that for the two related ones so down and up north and south west and east uh, rather interesting feature if you uh, selected one of those that, like west and east are easily mixed up if you accidentally had the wrong one uh, you can just click that button and your problem is fixed rather easy then the next one is flipping the texture uh, let's not use this one let's use the south one for this one again because as it, again it's easy to see uh, if you look here let's zoom in a little bit if I click this one you can see that the texture flips horizontally I think you call it or vertically probably because this picture is vertically and this one does flips horizontally uh, and you can do both at the time and that way you can change these textures a little bit you can also rotate them with these buttons left and right not too difficult at all and I think these textures here are a little bit uh, cooler because let's say you had this texture like here like this selected then you can copy the selection that you have on the texture with this button uh, it doesn't even get your like a confirmation message which is a little bit um, yeah you have to deal with that I personally would like that and if I now press the paste button there you see it copies the exact same thing there so let's say you had a very specific selection here uh, and you want to copy that all over just copy and then paste 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 and then do that for every single one there you go and now we have the same texture on all sides uh, so very quickly done that and that was all otherwise that was very very difficult and now it's really really quick so very very great feature I'm going to be using that a lot uh, but that about wraps up this episode I hope you enjoyed and learned something if you did leave a like and a comment and maybe a subscription and I'll see you in the next one guys bye